for his Lord. But he said, I will do your bidding. I will preach for you, but you're not my master. In other words, I'm going to do it because mm -hmm. I'm stuck on this whale. I really don't want to, but I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't doing it because he wanted to. He just wanted to get out of the way. So he gets out of the way. The whale vomits him out. Isn't this great right before lunch? <laughs> there goes the... <laughs> there goes Jonah. Now, the people of Nineveh, they worship the what? The fish god. They got the fish god. Jonah, he is Speedy Gonzalez. He runs, arriba, 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 and he takes off. And then he said, you know, he runs 20 miles, one day's journey, all the way to Nineveh, smelling like tuna fish. I mean, this guy is fast. And he had a quick message. Are you ready? He said before the people of Nineveh, smelling like fish, and he said, they're all going to die. Have a nice day. <laughs> and the people believed him. I mean, here's this guy that's been running like Speedy Gonzalez, and, and, and you know, you're going, you know, look at this, man. I mean, this guy's moving. I, I mean, he's got, I, I mean, he, he's the flash. Hey, 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 man, I mean, you know, this guy's moving. And he's running so fast, he gets there. And Jonah goes up to the mountain, sits on the hill, to see what God's going to do. And the king says, I believe that preacher. I don't think he was very kind with that message. Have you noticed preachers aren't always kind with messages? We don't always have a lot of compassion and mercy and stuff like that. But he said... Y'all gonna die, have a nice day. So he he proclaimed a fast and said, nobody can eat. Everybody must put on sackcloth and ashes, including the animals. No one will eat or drink. And let's see if God will change his mind. So you know what they did? They changed God's mind. And Jonah's on the hill looking down. And God comes over there and tells him, Ah, I changed my mind. We're not going to kill him today. They'll eventually die in a couple thousand years, but right now we're going to let them And Jonah got displeased. He's mad at God. Thank God none of you have ever gotten mad at God. Amen. But I mean, this guy got mad at God. That was a joke, by the way. Amen. When things didn't go your way, all of a sudden you're upset with God. Amen. I know I've been there. Amen. I was upset with God one time. Went to the movies. I'm eating my popcorn, drinking my drink. And God says, are you tired of feeling sorry for yourself? I said, I sure am. As soon as this movie's over, I'm getting back. Amen. Right to it. Amen. But let me finish my popcorn. Amen. <laughs> you don't like that story at all. I can see that already. Amen. Yes, you can get right with God. Amen. 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 So he got upset. He postponed the judgment. This wicked people postponed the judgment. Now, why is it again you can't get your prayers answered again? If a whole town will get the, the, the prayers answered? This whole wicked town, you know, and God even had to explain to the preacher, they don't even know what they're doing. Even, I mean, they have no idea. These people are idiots. I mean, look at the Nineveh people. They're idiots. And God even had to explain that to them. And Jonah wouldn't get it. Because Jonah was a bigot. He hated the people of Nineveh. Amen? He just hated them. They had done something to his family, I don't know, years ago. But he got the prayer answered. The Ninevehs did. Nineveh 
was eventually judged and eventually was destroyed, but God postponed that judgment. Amen. It took years, but it did. You can change God's mind in sickness, Hezekiah. You can do it on a sin. That's, uh, I mean, a uh, sickness, a Hezekiah, judgment, uh, Ahab. You can postpone judgment on a nation, Nineveh. Uh, you can even do it on unanswered prayers. Abraham, God told Abraham, he said, uh, we're going over to check out.